Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. So in our today's simulation task, we will simulate an equilibrium reactor in Aspen Hises and for the simulation, we have chosen ammonia production system means nitrogen plus 3 hydrogen will give you 2 moles of ammonia. So what we will do, we will firstly add the components nitrogen N2, hydrogen H2, NH3, ammonia. And after adding this, our next task is to select the fluid package for the system. Usually, we select Pank Robinson for ammonia system. And as discussed in the previous video, that we will first define the reaction set and then we will move to the simulation environment. Going to reactions, click add, add reaction. And in add reaction, we will select an equilibrium reaction because we are simulating an equilibrium reactor. So click equilibrium and reaction is added over here. And first thing which we will need to do in it is to define the components. Which are the components? Nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to produce ammonia. So it means it's minus one, one mole of nitrogen plus three moles of hydrogen give you two moles of ammonia. And you see balance error is zero. It means you have specified the stoichiometric coefficients correctly and the basis usually is partial pressure and partial pressure basis units are kilopascal and phase is the vapor phase because it's a vapor phase reaction. One way of defining is presented to you and other way of defining the equilibrium reaction is to go to the library and in library you can see there are a lot of reactions placed over here and your reaction is this one 0.5 moles of nitrogen plus 1.5 moles of hydrogen gives you one mole of ammonia. So you can even click on it and add the library reaction. So I will add it to show you how it works because if you see you are not given the, any information about the equilibrium constant. You have to compute it from Gibbs free energy which will be calculated from the reaction. However, if you want to check the effect of temperature on this equilibrium constant then what you do, you go to library, add library reaction, and it has given a warning that the stoichiometric coefficient for component nitrogen will be changed to minus 0.5 to agree with the stoichiometry using the reaction library. So th there is no harm because we have defined 1, 3, and 2, 1 mole of nitrogen, 3 for hydrogen, and 2 for ammonia. And if you divide it by 2, then it will be 0.5. So click OK, and similarly, for hydrogen, it will be minus 1.5 and similarly for ammonia, it will be 1. So after adding it, you can see parameters also remain the same, but you have got the value of equilibrium constant against specific temperatures. Again, 93, 150, 200, 315 and so on. That what are the values of equilibrium constant and what are the calculated values. So after adding the reaction, there are again two ways. One way is to define it manually. And the second way is to go to library and add the reaction. So after adding it, add it to fluid package. So going to simulation environment and adding the reactor over there, which is the equilibrium reactor. Now we will give the required connections over here that our first stream is the nitrogen stream. Second stream is the hydrogen stream. Produce stream is ammonia and liquid outlet. And after that, we have to define a reaction set, which is the set number one. Not solved. Why not solved? Because you have not provided any information about the feed. So nitrogen is at 25 degree centigrade, 500 kilopascal and 100 kg mole per hour with pure nitrogen entering in this feed stream. It is also at 25 degree centigrade, 500 kilopascal and since one mole of nitrogen corresponds to 3 mole of hydrogen. So we will define 300 over here and we will define is as pure hydrogen. And you see the reaction has taken place. Ammonia is produced and the total flow rate of the outlet stream is 345.4 kg mole per hour. If you go to composition, you can see that ammonia is produced over here. Going back to reactions and to results, you see that the percentage conversion of nitrogen is 27.29 with equilibrium constant as 0.139 extent of a reaction is 
Now, since it's an exothermic reaction, because if you see that the temperature is 261.2, means heat is releasing in this process. So, it means that with the increase of pressure, the conversion should increase. I will show you how. Currently, it's 27.29%. If you increase the pressure to 600 kilopascal, then you see it has increased to 28.02. Similarly, if you increase the pressure, for example, it's 30 degrees centigrade and it's 30 degrees centigrade, then you see the conversion has decreased, which abides by the rule that for exothermic reaction with the increase in pressure the conversion is increased and with the increase in temperature the percentage conversion is decreased so that's how you simulate an equilibrium reactor in aspenhysis so that's all from my side for today's simulation please do watch the video like the video share with others and subscribe the channel aspentech till then it's goodbye stay tuned